Hello, everybody. Bob6983 here, and we're back for some more Pokemon Emerald. In the last episode, we got through, uh, what was that route, like 120 or something like that? Thing. Uh, 121. Oh, okay. And in this episode, we are going to be continuing over to Lily Cove before going to Mount Pyre because I kind of want to go heal my Pokemon. Wait, no, we are currently on Route 121. Oh, okay, so we did Route 120. Yeah, we're on. Okay, let's go ahead and progress. I think there's some more trainers over here. There's an item in between these trainers. There's so many items. Yeah. There's two items. I think in uh, Ruby and Sapphire as well, there was another glitch with uh, NPCs walking through stuff, which was, I think... Uh, okay, good. We got away. Uh, this old guy, I think... If... I think he could turn around and talk to you through the fence or something like that. So, if you're playing Ruby or Sapphire, I think be cautious of that. If you go caught over here as well, there's a hidden item. I think it's either off to the left in that bottom left corner or in the right on the top right corner. Somewhere over there. Let's check all the empty squares. Mm -hmm. I want to go check what that is, but I, I may run into a trainer battle if I do that. Okay, so here's Lily Cove. This is a really, really interesting town. I really like it, just in general. Just like the music here, like the colors here. And this is the town that has one of the bigger uh, stores in the game. This is sort of like your department store. For like, um, for like Gen 2, if you remember like Goldenrod City, if you know that that town, that's sort of like here, basically. And here is also some a new a new thing in this game, but you've probably already done it if you were playing Omega Ruby off of Sapphire. Or the Pokemon contest. We needed to come here first. Hello. Wait, do you wanna do you wanna voice her? I, I, I can do that. This is the reception counter for Pokemon contests. Oh, it appears you don't have a Pokeblock case yet. Why are you saying that in demon speech, lady? <laughs> it's like, so it's so weirdly written. In that case, we need to provide you with this. We get the you Pokeblock case. Okay, now that we've cleared that up. Hello! <laughs> this is the reception counter for Pokemon contests. Would you like to enter your Pokemon in our contests? We're not gonna do that yet. We hope you will participate another time. Pokemon contest. If you're playing Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire, you would have already been introduced to a sort of special NPC in um, what was it? Uh, Slateport. That's what it was. She sort of like gives you an introduction to Poke Pokemon contest. But if you haven't been introduced to it, if you're playing Ruby and Sapphire or Emerald like us. This is basically where you enter your Pokemon into contests for like beauty, coolness, cuteness, all that jazz. And depending on your moves is depending on what type of what type of sort of type I, I guess I should say it is. Like for example, Rage and Focus Energy are cool and Scary Face and Crunch are tough. Every time you teach a move to a Pokemon, it will tell you what exactly you're going to be getting. Like for example, if it's getting smart or tough or any of that sort of nature. So, this isn't required at all, but it is really fun. You can get some ribbons out of that. Like, you can put the ribbons on your, uh, or like, the ribbons get added to your uh, Pokemon. And, I mean, it's just sort of like a fun pastime thing you can do. If you have, like, a, a Swellow, you would mostly learn really, very cool moves. So, if you want to use a Pokemon, I would recommend a Swellow. Or if you have something that has a bunch of the, uh, the the same typings on there, I would recommend you put those into the contest. You can raise the toughness or coolness or cuteness or whatever it is with Pokeblocks, which there's another thing I forgot to mention over here as well with that. So, over here to the right, you can mix berries with people. This is, I think, exclusive to this game. I think. Or, like, exclusive to, like, this game, Ruby and, and Sapphire, I want to say. Because it's not an Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire. You want to go mix berries with the old man? Sure. <laughs> I love making Pokeblocks. I always have some berries with me. If you'd like, we could make some Pokeblocks together using the berry blender. 
if you don't have any friends to do this with you can have some people over here the more berries you mix and the more that they're like the same sort of oh what is it called the more that they're the the same type of a tag or what, whatever this is the better the poke block will be you can get i think like blue poke blocks red poke blocks and of that nature and that's how you raise the coolness, cuteness, and beauty and whatnot of Pokemon. That is how you're going to evolve Feebas if you have one. So you cannot evolve Feebas until this late into the game. Let's go ahead and show this off. Oh, did you want to make some Pokeblocks with this old timer? Excellent. Do you know how to make a Pokeblock? We do, but I'm going to go ahead and show it off then. Let's get started then. Let's berry blend. So you're going to be putting any type of berry that you have in your bag. Let's just, I don't know, put a Pecha Berry, Pecha Berry in there. You're going to be pressing A whenever the little, uh, I don't know what that is. Whenever the little thing goes up to your, to your, whenever the pointer goes up to your pointer thing, you're going to be pressing it. You're going to be pressing A in succession every time it goes around. And basically just try to get, you see how there's like three different types. There's the X, there's a circle, and then there's like a circle within the circle. You're going to be wanting to go for that circle that's within the circle. That's the best type of uh, timing that you could get with this. Unfortunately, the old man isn't really doing too much. But yeah, the, the better the berry is mixed, the better the uh, Pokeblock you're going to get. He's old. Cut him some slack. Oh my god. Yeah, you can see that we got 10 perfect ones. He got 4. We got 20 normal ones. He got 13. And we missed a bit more than him, but... I mean, we got more than him, anyways. We get the pink Poke Blocks. You can you can mix berries with um, other people. I mean, this isn't really helpful at all. But we just needed the Poke Block guys so we can go to the Safari Zone off to Route 121. And also, we just needed to show this off. So if you wanted to evolve Feebas, you could. If you go up these steps, you will have a battle against May. I'm going to hold that off for now because. We want to go over to Mount Pyre and maybe level up our Pokemon a bit more. Just because Asushi's been being knocked out a lot. And I think May might have a fully evolved starter Pokemon. So we may want to hold off on that for now. I don't know if I forgot something else. I think if you go ahead and do the battle, there's a house over to the right. We'll be getting into that later. But, I mean, if you want to go ahead and do that right now, you can go ahead. That's the move deleter. But, yeah, we'll get into detail on that later. Go back over to Mount Pyre. Oh, my God. Well, I mean, I guess I can go check that item now that he's moved. And, I mean, now that we're fighting him. This guy said he's never tasted defeat before, so show him what it tastes like. I'm not, I'm not letting him lick my feet. <laughs> I was going to say it. It tastes like sushi because you're gonna send sushi out, but <laughs> okay, don't. <laughs> and I said defeat, not your feet. <laughs> okay, the trick isn't going to be doing jack to us. But that won't stop it from trying. Yeah, it's going to be using Hal trying to raise its attack. That way it can attack us, but it's not going to get a chance to attack us because we got it with a stab move that's super effective against it. Shift Tree! Ooh, this is what our Nuzleaf would evolve into. If we have a Leaf Stone. So this is what our brunch is going to look like. Look at how fantastic this looks it is so cool i love this design so much it it's great i'm gonna we're gonna get into more detail on this or on its evolution when the time comes or i should say whenever karana finishes drawing shift tree whenever her hand gets better because i mean like we can technically evolve brunch right now because we have no, it but we no we can't yes we can we have a no, leaf stone no we don't yes we do no we're just waiting on you no <laughs> i could just use no, a, a png like with carvana you could do that again if you really wanted to yeah i really could 
It's just uh, it's just whatever you feel like. If you feel like you're not gonna get it in time, then we may as well just do it. Well, you you promised I have until the until the ocean. Yeah, we have until a little bit later into the game where you can actually get more stones because that's what we're gonna talk about. Like a bunch of other evolutions that you can get. Of course, you would use a hyper potion because you're a jerk. Yeah, this is a really, really interesting Pokemon. Same typing as, you know, as our as our Nuzleaf. It's just a bit better. The, the, I, I don't remember what it's based off of. I, I used to know the name right off the top of my head, but it's based off of a type of mask in Japan, I think. And also it's like some sort of like demon in Japan, technically, because like the, the mask is also sort of like reminiscent of like the demon. Something like that, I don't know, I, I don't remember it, it entirely, but it just, it just has a really cool design, let's just go with that. This is a, this is a very slow battle. Yeah. I found out the reason why Tally hasn't been doing too much in uh, attack-wise because we have a nature that lowers our attack and we have most, if not all, attacking moves. So we're kind of screwed in that sort of area. So, ah, you jerk! What did he say? Oh, no, no, it was nothing. Ooh, what do you mean? What happened? My bag is full! That can happen in this game? Yeah. I don't think you're going to be able to use those items. They max out once your Pokemon reaches max IVs. Let, let's see if I can use a Z. Not IVs. EVs. Who EVs! Who should we use this on? Honestly, just, just pick and choose and see if one of them will take it. Because you might not get any of them to take it. Sushi! <laughs> uh, probably, yeah, probably Sushi, because Sushi's the one we've gotten the latest. We could use this one as well on somebody. Maybe Katrina, just because she's really good in special attack. It might not work. Oh, it did work. <laughs> did you look at that? Okay, there was a max revive here. I forgot to pick it up, even though I just beat a trainer for it. <sighs> we could cut out this battle, technically, because we're, we're just staying here and... <laughs> We're not making any progression. I want to get over to Mount Pyre. Let's see if Sushi can take this Loudred out really quickly. Like what the game set us free from this world where you've been trapped in a fighting Pokemon. Then we'll be allowed to go to Mount Pyre to see the many ghosts that await us there. Yeah. Good job, Sushi. 700 experience. Vigoroth. I'll stay with sushi just because we're going to be doing a lot of damage. I hope it does not know any. It does not know anything. Uproar! Interesting. Well, oh my gosh, so there's a lot. Ooh. Well. Um. Fiora, go. You could. You could evolve soon. Yeah, you can you can totally evolve soon. Probably not gonna evolve until we get over to uh, Mount Pyre, but I mean it's it's whatever. No, no biggie. But never mind. It could probably evolve just by fighting a, a wild Pokemon. Interesting. I don't want to register you in my Pokenav. They they just really want to rematch later on. Yeah. So let me go ahead and swap out Sushi for Fiora just because I want Fiora to evolve. We've been letting her off to the side for a long time. I should probably put up a repel after this. We're, I don't want to keep stopping. Uh, yeah, I was gonna say, put up, yeah, and keep Fiora in the front because you, you know what's something I found out? What? Um. When you use a repel, anything that's lower than your Pokemon in the front won't show up, but if it's a higher level, then it'll still show up. You didn't know that? I didn't know that, I just found that. 
That, that's weird. I thought you would know that, especially because you use so many of them. No, I just, I just assumed that the repel just said no to Pokemon. No, that's not how that works! <laughs> it's, a, it's a repel! It's supposed to repel Pokemon! No! I mean, it does say that it just repels Pokemon, but like, that's, that's never how that works. If your Pokemon is the same level as the Pokemon in the wild, it won't repel them. I only found this out because I was trying to shiny hunt the Statatica. Statatica. Stakataka? Yes. <laughs> and I just like, I looked up some things for like to help me like shiny hunt it better. It's like, if you have a Pokemon that's level than 55 but lower than 60, you will always run into Statatica even when using repels. And I was like, what is this thing? Hey, it's my favorite Pokemon! Yeah. Well, it's pre-evolution. So a Shuppet! Yeah, it's a Shuppet. It's a pure ghost type. Yeah. And it knows it has the ability Insomnia and Cursed Body, I believe. I cannot go into detail on these Pokemon in here just because I don't really know them too much. Fiora is leveling up! Oh, perfect! Wonderful! Finally, it is time! Now press the B button. I'm not pressing B. Press B. Fiora has earned this. Press B! You were telling me to press B, why would you do it? Because it's, this is a Let's Play! It would be funny if it was just in a personal playthrough, but we're doing a Let's Play. <laughs> it wasn't funny when it happened to me. It was hilarious. It you was knew not it. funny. No, it wasn't. I was very upset and it happened twice. <laughs> so, Fiora has evolved into a Swampert! We can finally swap out Marsh Stomp. Or Swamper, would you look at that? I'm going for for every time that we uh, swap out for the the new one. I know that I know that the art is pixelated. I'll just go ahead and make it big on screen. That, that Swamper has been there since like we beat Flan or anything. Yeah, probably. I just I, I <laughs> forgot to just change it into a Swamper. I just put my other Pokemon in the front. Yeah, we have a lot of level up Pokemon. We could have a shift tree right now, but we're holding off. Ah, uh, the closest one to evolving after that will be Sushi. And then maybe Trap Pinch and then the Leap. So you have time for now. I'm trying. Look, I can literally can't do anything about my hand. I can't figure out what's wrong with it. <laughs> if you're playing Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire, you will have to go up a floor or two to get over to the area that you need to go to. But if you're playing Emerald and Ruby and Sapphire like us, the entrance will be blocked by a Pokemon, of course. <laughs> kind of shiny, that'd be funny, but honestly, the shiny's not that great. It's like, it's like a bluish color. Yeah, would you look at that? Whenever Fiora goes in, she glows blue as well. Fiora is establishing dominance. Yeah, let me go ahead and swap over to another Pokemon, just because Fiora is now leveled up. I don't know, let's maybe swap over to Shavixi or something. Okay, but there are some more new encounters! Not only can you find Shuppet in this area, I'm pretty sure you can find Duskulls in this area as well. It's another ghost type. I can't really go too much into too much detail. I, ah, I was tripping over my words there. Uh, but it is another ghost type if you want it. Dusclops is the evolution that it gets, but I mean, it could have it could have been better in this gen had it had the, the final evolution that it gets later on in other games. So I don't know, maybe you could pass on this uh, Pokemon. It's not... It, it could be better, but I mean, it's pretty decent, I guess. TM48 Skill Swap is over here, if you want it. See, the thing that makes Dusclops... Sorry. Yeah, this pop's really good is the fact that it can use an Ev Light. The fact that it can't do that in this game kind of just limits its potential. Yeah, Eevee Light, if you're playing Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire, which you would get in the post game, I think, makes it so your Pokemon, if it's not fully evolved, gets its defense and special defense stats boosted. So it's really good if you have a unevolved Pokemon, but since, I mean, since in this game it would be considered fully evolved, and I mean, I don't even think the Eevee Light existed in this game, to be completely honest with you. So you can't even get the, the benefits of that. It's very unfortunate for Dusclops and Duskull in this game. The other Pokemon you can find in this route are Vulpix, I think. Yeah, Vulpix and 
The rare encounter on this route will be Chimeco. Chimeco is... It isn't good. It, it, let me just break it to you. It's not really good. I would not recommend this on a team unless you absolutely know what you're doing. But even then... Oh, here's an Ultra Ball, by the way. But even then, I don't really recommend Chimeco. It's, it's, it's not great. So, yeah, I, I'd say skip on that one. But yeah, here's a Vulpix. Vulpix is a pretty decent fire type, but there are other better fire types. Unfortunately, you only get this one super late into the game. There are other uh, fire types that already do what it does better, like maybe like Torkoal, because it's really defensive. And I think maybe even though Camerupt has a, more weaknesses, I think it may still be a little bit better than Vulpix and Ninetales, just because it doesn't really have too many moves that it's av that's available to it. So, unfortunately, even though I really, really like Vulpix just because of its design, I'd say maybe pass on this one as well. I mean, Ninetales is good if you can get it with the... It's really good if you can get it with the Drought ability. Yeah, that and then maybe like if you give it like Will-O-Wisp, that'd be pretty good, but like... I, I don't know. I, I really hope... I really wish that Vulpix and Ninetales were better. Go ahead and swap out to I don't know maybe Brunch or Katrina. So the fact that I know exactly what this, what every, where everything in this like air would be an aura is just a little too much. Like I know like the, the beta would be off to the right, the Meditate would be the very top, <laughs> with the hidden items. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> ah, too bad for you. If you came earlier, you would have, you only would have had to battle the Wimpy Team Magma. But since you arrived now, you have to take on us, Tuffies. I think <laughs> that's, that's not a bad thing. It means we get more XP. Yeah. I should maybe put like the experience share on Vixie just because Vixie's not going to be seeing too much action here. Katrina, go ahead and shockwave. I feel like every time I take a drink out of my or out of my my, my cup the straw or whatever whenever like I swallow I can hear it on the mic just because this mic is a bit more sensitive I have not heard anything oh, thank <laughs> <goodness>. <laughs> uh, I should have let you take on Team Magma first I'm gonna go ahead and put the experience share on Vixie also we should probably stop the episode right here so uh, next time on Pokemon Emerald we will be continuing taking on Team Aqua and maybe finding some more items over here in Mount Pyre and then maybe doing the May fight. So until next time, see you all then. Bye.